Oh, I see. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Cody with Ohio Drum Repair. I'm gonna run over the M30T kit today, which is the basic kit, none of the spotlights or anything like that, but we've got the battery case, we've got the M30T case itself and the remotes in there too. Um, so I'll start with the drone. There's your 30T, it's your big old thermal can that camera there. Here is the big old remote for it. Over here, I've got the battery case. There's eight batteries in here. And they can all be charged at the same time. The battery case itself is a charger. You plug it into a wall and it'll charge everything. You can charge the remote from there. There's also some auxiliary batteries that go into the back here. Let's see if I can get it open real quick. In this spot right there, so you can extend the battery life. Not sure that's included, pretty sure it's not. But those are available to you as well. You just take two batteries. They are hot swappable, which means you can pull one out at a time without turning off the drone, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up so you can see it all unfolded. What I'm gonna do is pull the legs apart. There's these little things, you probably saw them pop up there. Those are the locking pegs. There's two on the front, two on the back. There you go. And now, really, as soon as I put the batteries in, it's ready to fly. I'm gonna show you how to put the batteries in. Flip this guy around. Take the batteries. There's a channel that goes on top, and the second channel that has two on either side goes on the bottom. It'll click, that little orange tab will pop over. That's what holds it in place. Put that in there, now it's ready to go. For those of you that don't know, this is kind of king of the skies right now for drones. This is what you'll find with police and deer recovery and pet recovery and all that stuff. This is a big thermal drone. It's water rated IP55, a bunch of other fun stuff. It's a monster. The main feature on this is gonna be this camera up front, which it's flipped up right now for storage mode. But it's got a range finder on it, so you can kind of laser range stuff as you're looking at it. It's got thermal, it's got a huge zoom to it. A bunch of stuff you can do with that. Anything you need to track, anything you need to find, 30T can handle it. So the first thing you're gonna do is fire up the RC Plus, which is what the M30T comes with and a bunch of other drones. But as you turn it on, first thing it's gonna to wanna to go to is this pre-flight check screen. It'll show which aircraft you have linked to this. I can click over here, click the M30T. It'll either auto recognize it or I'll have to hold down the power button a little while to get it to link. We'll see what it does. And there it goes, pulled it up. And now from here, I can go into the actual camera view. Here's my real pre-flight settings where I can put my max altitudes and what it's gonna do if it loses uh, connection or anything like that. I'll leave that off for now. Now I'm in the camera mode, you probably see me and Chase in it. And there's a bunch of stuff I could do in here. I'll do a whole nother video for this because it's gonna be a long one. All right, now that we've got the controller on and connected to the drone and the drone's all powered on and the battery's ready to go, uh, we can go and take off. Right, so I'm just gonna show you guys some things that you can do with this. Nothing crazy, it's a very complicated machine. There's lots to go over, but give you some basic understanding. I'm gonna focus in on this car. I got my laser range finder I just clicked there. About 450 feet away he is. All right, I can also zoom in. If I press L2 over here, it says zoom. The uh, customizable buttons are on the side there. Let me zoom in a ton. Not gonna show his license plate, but I absolutely could. And this zoom is, it's pretty damn good. Let me zoom up here. See those pretty clearly now. And again, that's about, let me check the laser range finder here. We're 628 feet away, we're looking at that. Got all that detail there, and that is not zoomed in all the way. Back this up. And I'll just kind of look around. This is just the gimbal control, so this is just the camera that I'm looking at right now. I can also swap to IR again. That's a predestined button there. There we go. Got some cool IR imagery. But Chase's car is nice and warm there. You can see the engine we just drove here, so I can also click here. I can check 
the heat signatures that I'm getting here. So it's about 70 degrees in the hot spots. Kind of cool. Also has my range on there since I never turned it off. C243. So again, to get out of the IR, I'm gonna click one of the other camera buttons in the predestined ones there. I'll go to wide. There you go, wide gives you a better view of what's going on. We got a nice, beautiful, rainy day in Ohio. One of the beauties of this thing is it can handle all kinds of weather. Never really have to worry about that with this. All right, and one of the other cameras I have here is the FPV camera, which this is kind of your, your pilot view. So my gimbal controls, which are these dials in the back, those are no longer gonna do anything. All I'm gonna be doing is flying. I'm gonna take myself out of sport mode so I don't wreck, which is right up there, your different um, flight controllers. So that's gonna be up and down, your altitude here, rotate, and then forward. It's like a helicopter, it's gonna lean forward a ton when it, you wanna accelerate nice and quick. Pull back on the stick, slow it down. Left and right strafe. And you can do a combination of any of these controls too to kind of get the drone to do like some curving motions. Add a little input here. Swing around. Quick little loop. It's all real time, it's all super quick. I'll come right down, I'll look right at us for fun. Now I wanna know where I'm going, so I'm gonna bring back the gimbal. Zoom out here, hold on. So we're right down there, so I'll bring it down. Keeping an eye on my altitude there so I don't smack into anything. On the ground in this case. Take a look at us, there we are. So yeah, and it is raining today. This thing's getting pretty wet out there and it's totally good to go. Does not mind at all. All right, so that has been the M30T as well as the remote and the fun cases. Anything you can think of, this thing can probably do it. There's also a bunch of attachments I'll go over in another video. We can cover all that stuff. But uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, please let us know.